From Software is a mainstay in the gaming community. The games they have made in the last 15 years have garnered a huge fan base and a community that loves every ounce of it. But I'm not here to sing my praises for FromSoft. My goal is to take a look at every boss from the Soul series, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring, and give it a rating. Rating things like presentation, lore significance, music, and gameplay. Let's continue the Demon Souls tier list with The Fool's Idol. The Fool's Idol boss can be found in the Tower of Latria Archstone. This level is a maddening prison, and the steps it takes to even get to the boss gate will take patience and treading carefully. Step 1. Find the keys to unlock the lower levels of the prison. Step 2. Avoid these incredibly deadly tentacle monsters. Step 3. Either get the Warden's Key so you can navigate around the giant bolt-throwing contraption, or be a Chad and dodge your way through. Step 4. Walk all the way up here to this freaky guy and take him out. If you don't, he'll resurrect the boss. Now, we can step into the boss room. A large, grand, stained glass window depicts a woman in the center, assumedly being the person of worship, as a devious laugh from above <laughs> descends. Floating into view, a four-armed woman holds a spell book and gives you a dirty look. Most boss fights give you a sense of instant danger, but Fool's Idol catches you off guard by not attacking right away. Rows of pews and a few mindless worshippers are between you and the floaty lady. It's a bit serene and ominous as you walk up to her, like she wants you to approach her. Once you do damage to her, she splits up into multiple illusionary copies of herself all across the church. She places magical traps that are only briefly visible. The worshippers will also get in the way and throw punches. Every illusion she makes will also cast magic at you. All of these things combined will likely cause you to panic, but luckily these pillars act as a great cover for you to think about your next move. You could clear out every illusion to get them to stop attacking, or if you're patient, look for this spell. The bigger spell is coming from the real boss, and you can use that to track her down without dealing with the illusions. From the perspective of someone who has killed this boss a few times, Fool's Idol can be trivial. Unless you're a new game plus and she kills you with two spells. From a new player perspective, this boss can be frustrating. With all the traps and spells being flung at you, it's not your typical toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. But I think that's why we like From Software, because of the unique twists. Fool's Idol is the first boss on our list that has some substantial lore, and I will attempt to summarize it. Latria was ruled by a queen who faced a tragic downfall when a malevolent figure arrived in the kingdom. The old monk overthrew the queen and imprisoned the inhabitants. He was corrupted with a maddening thirst for knowledge and power, experimenting on the prisoners, warping bodies and minds. The fool's idol was created by the old monk, a way to deceive the prisoners and give them false hope, ensuring they remained docile. It is not a living being, it is a construct. It was able to continue to be reanimated by a disciple, which would reinforce this image of divinity and eternal power. I really like this lore and how the themes of gameplay harmonize with each other. It also sets up the final boss of this archstone as being quite the villain. The original music for The Fool's Idol has to be one of my favorites so far. It's simple and deceiving, serene and horrific. It invokes the boss themes perfectly. Let's listen to a bit of the remake. It brings back familiar notes from the original, but ties some more angelic or divine sounds that are more haunting than anything. Personally, I prefer the weird and dissonant sounds of the original song better in this case. The rating for this boss is going to be a bit difficult. I enjoy the lore and the atmosphere. I appreciate the overarching theme, which does give it a bonus for me. The fight itself, like a lot of Demon Souls bosses, is a bit gimmicky. Once the gimmick is solved, this boss is dispatched rather easily. I'm going to give Fool's Idol a B. What do you guys think? How do you rate Fool's Idol? Make sure to like and subscribe for more and come join the Discord channel. Catch the next video where we will rate the next boss on our tier list, The Adjudicator.